Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Robert Muhammad, the Leather Cowboy, right here with Premier Leather Crafters. And I'm going, this today's video is about, uh, I thought it'd be a prime time to, to explain or tell you guys what I've learned over the years about uh, how to choose a good grade of cowhide. Uh, I remember when I first started out working, uh, doing this, and I used to go down to Tandy, and, and I've been buying from Tandy ever since 1997. So I've been buying from these guys for a long time. But today, I, or last week, I found another company in Missouri that they, offered, they had some nice hides that was on sale. And I just took a chance on these people, you know, hey. Nothing beats a failure except a try. And if they have, if the hides stand up as good as they advertise, you know, it's always good to have a plan B. So, but today, this is what we're going to go into because I just got my box in. And I opened it already. You guys can see this. I opened it already because I was so excited to see just the quality of the leather that these people advertise uh, via the internet. And sometimes you got to be careful. Uh, I can tell you about some bad experiences from ordering from some companies in the past. Um, just real quick before we get off into it, I ordered some leather from a company that was in Texas. Oh my God, that was an experience for me. Uh, you have to be careful with ordering from some companies because some tanneries, um, and I don't think it was by them being a U.S. tannery, and I'm not going to put them on blast like that. But the way that I was told, I, I got the box in and I threw it in the truck. And this was in the dead middle of summer a uh, few, several years ago. And uh, I come back out to the truck and the heat had affected that high. And it was the most atrocious smell that was in my truck. I mean, I was, I mean, it was really putrid. But I never ordered from them people again. So I started talking with the uh, general manager of, of Tandy when I went down to uh, Birmingham. And he explained to me how to buy a hide. Now, when I first started going in, I, uh, let me get you one piece. I, I used to always look at the top side. This is called the grain side, the grain, the smooth side or whichever kind, you know, if you have out there looking, the smooth side is the grain side. And I used to go in there and look and see if I could find any marks and stuff like that. And I knew about tick bites and range marks, just any uh, blemishes that was on the outside, because that's what people, your customers generally going to see is the grain side. And so he came up to me and he was like, what are you doing? I said, you know, searching for some good highs. And I'm sitting there just moving pieces out the way and trying to find it. He said, well, these these are the economy highs. Yeah, you know, uh, I said, oh, okay. And But he got to explain it to me what you should do when you are looking for a high. And the first thing he told me is you turn that high over. You want to look at the flesh side. As a leather crafter, you want to examine the flesh side. And I'm going to show you what he meant by that. I think you guys can see this. You see how tightly that flesh side is? That is real tight. This is what you want to look for um, when you're purchasing a hide or a side or a shoulder or even the, a single side. Whatever you're buying, you want to look at this or the, the flesh side as it pertains to a crafter. Reason being, when you go into stamping and carving and all of that, you don't want that leather to start moving and altering its shape. Uh, if you're making belts, and, it, and some of you have, have ever used economy grade or B or C grade, B grade is a little bit better, but C grade, you go to stamping and tooling, you'll notice the shape of that belt is not straight anymore. It starts to bend and warp a little bit or warp. I'm from the South, so we say wop, but warp a little bit. Uh, and that's because the, the integrity of that cowhide is weak. 
where they pull the pull the meat away from the flesh. So that's what you want to look at. And I'm going to show you a piece of the how you can tell the difference. This is a B or C grade. You see how that's kind of rough and nappy looking? This is what you really don't want to start using, uh, especially when you're getting off into your larger works where you can charge good premium prices for premium grade of leather. You can't charge a premium price for a lesser grade leather that you're using because it's going to start moving and altering its shape as you get to stamping, especially carving. And the worst thing you can do as a leather carver is to get the carving into a piece and then your swivel knife or your angle knife punches a, a slit through that piece. You just ruined it. Absolutely ruined it. Um, so this is what you want to look at. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to show you guys because I'm so excited about this. And I opened it again, opened it prematurely. But I am very satisfied with Springfield Leather Tannery in Missouri. Very satisfied with them. You guys can see that. You see how tightly grained that is? This is a great hide of leather. And I will be ordering from them guys again. You have officially won my business from Premier Leather Crafters. Very, very satisfied. And then as an extra added bonus, they'll even cut the straight line for you before they ship it. So that saved a lot of time on my end that I didn't have to square it off. Thanks, Springfield Leather in Missouri. Order from those guys. Check them out. They're on the internet, springfield.com, springfieldleather.com. Order from them. They're a great group of people. Uh, and still, I still order from Tandy. Tandy is a always i'm a loyalist to like that to that degree but i hope that that can help you guys again let me show you again real quick when you're purchasing leather flip that hide over and you want to look at the flesh side real tight woven real tight and you can tell the difference now it's not to say it's not to say that the B grades or C grades are not good hides. It's all cow hide. But just know what you're purchasing and know that you really can't do a whole lot of stamping and tooling on these hides because, because of that look right there. It's a lot weaker. Now, even on your European hides or your Hermano premium hides, it's going to be tightly woven like this. This is why crafters why we can charge high dollar um, uh, money for that because you're using premium grade even to your customers out there if you're watching this and I, I've done I've learned uh, not learned but I, I've started doing over the years I don't line the interior parts of my pieces because I want my customers to know that they have top quality pieces when they purchasing from Premier Leather Crafters. This is why we are Premier Leather Crafters. Only top grade pieces that, that we, uh, top grade leather hides that we use in our pieces. I hope this guys help you. I hope this help you guys. Get my words right. No, thank you for watching. I'm the Leather Cowboy, Robert Muhammad, right here at Premier Leather Crafters.